Hi, I'm Joanna, CEO of Concept Wedding Designs. Today I want to share with you how you can update and personalize a template within Canva. I'm currently logged into my Canva Pro account, but don't worry, all of my templates can be used within a free Canva account. This template I'm using here is my wedding planner, and I'm going to walk you through the main ways you will want to update, customize, and use any of the wedding planning templates I have available in my Etsy store. You'll find a link in the description below to this template, as well as my Etsy shop. So let's get started. When you first purchase one of my templates on Etsy, you'll need to go and locate PDF, which has the download link in it. To do this, go into your Etsy store, into purchases and locate the purchase. On the right hand side, there'll be a, a PDF attachment. Within this PDF, there'll be a link. Click on this link and you'll get a page that looks similar to this. When you click use the template for new design, this will prompt you to log into your Canva account or to set up a new one. And again, don't worry, you can set up a free account to use this template. So within this template, this is the gallery view. Here you can see all 127 pages and you can quickly scroll, locate the pages you want to work in. To open up a single page, just locate the page and double click. And you can use the slider down here to increase and decrease the size, depending on how zoomed in you want to work on this page. So I'm just going to run you through a real quick tutorial of how you can update these templates. So on this first page, which is the cover page of the wedding planner, you might want to update a few things. Here's a text box. If I double click in this text box, I can simply go in and change the names and the same with the date and then just click out of that box and it automatically saves. If you wanted to update this image, you can go over onto the left hand side and select in the elements tab and you can search in this box for one of the photos that Canva stores within its own library, like so. And you can also filter here to make sure you're only using free items within Canva and not um, this little crown here identifies the pro items, which you'll need to have the pro account for. And then you can select photos. And here is Canva's own gallery here. So all you need to do, if you like a picture, you can just drag and drop that picture into that page. You can also double click and just move that around if you want to make sure it fits within the shape. Alternatively, you can upload your own pictures in this upload section, click upload files, and then you can go and locate within your OneDrive or Dropbox or your computer an image you'd like to upload. It will upload it to this area here. And then again, you just drag and drop that image in. So moving on to the second page, this in the template is where we hold all of our wedding details. So again, there's an image here. So we could drag and drop one of the images into the shape here. We can go and double click within one of those boxes to update the text. This next page holds our important dates and exactly as we've just done before, you can select double click to update either the important dates, selecting all the text within this box. You can add your own custom text. And then say you only had eight important dates and you wanted to delete these last four, what you can do, if you select here, you can see the ungroup option here. So if you click ungroup, you'll see all these elements with the purple outline become individual. And then all you need to do is just highlight the elements you want to delete and select the delete button. And you can click undo in the top left here if you want to undo that. Another thing you might want to do is duplicate items if you want more. So I've just selected this line here. You can see by the purple outline here. And then this little toolbar comes up just above where you've selected and you can select this button here, the duplicate button, and then just move it down and you'll see all these pink 2.6 spacing icons appear. Once you've moved this down so it's in line with the ones above and the spacing is correct, it will kind of let you know with those little pink bubbles and you can just drop the duplicated item here. And then again, you might want to go in here and change the text.
So the next thing I want to show you is how we update colors for our color story. So to update these colors here, when you select this first circle, this color appears up here in the top left. You can simply select this color and you have the option to either add a new color manually by just moving this around until you get a color that you'd like to use. Or if you have the hex code of a color, just type that in here. Alternatively, you can select this color picker here and go into your picture and select a color from within that picture and you'll see it updates just here. Again, you can update the wording on this page and you can also drag and drop and move pictures into all of these gallery items that are on the next few pages. Once you're finished with your template, you can then either share it electronically. So you can go up here, top right and select share. And here you'll have the option to download it as a PNG. You can set that up as a JPEG or a PDF. And then you can email it to your vendors and to your wedding party. Alternatively, you can print this design and you could share it via social media, or you can save it to one of these places just here. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And again, all the links you need are in the description below.